Hi, I am Parapi. In this video, you can learn how to create and execute a job of unsteady cavity flow with Reynolds number equal 30 in open form and check the result. This video is intended for people who want to calculate and check the result for the time being. Let me explain what cavity flow is. Assumed to be filled with fluid in a square wall like this. Then the top wall moves while the other three are stationary. Cavity flow is a flow triggered by the top wall. The Reynolds number is defined by the typical length as the length of the box and the typical velocity as the velocity of the top wall and becomes turbulent at Reynolds number equal 1000. Since Reynolds number equal 30 in this video, I will use an unsteady incompressible laminar flow solver called Ecoform. This is the Ubuntu screen. When you install the open form, the tutorial jobs are installed too. When creating a new job, I usually copy and paste a similar tutorial job to any directory and adjust the conditions and calculate. The open form source codes are in root opt. All the open form source files are in this directory. The tutorial jobs are contained in the directory tutorials. There are multiple hierarchical structures in this, and I do not understand much yet. The cavity flow job is in the incompressible ecoform cavity. A job is consists of three directories of zero, constant, and system. You can paste it anywhere. Let's name it cavity re30 this time in this video. After copying, the first thing you need to do is to create geometry and cut mesh. You can do them by editing the files in the system directory. The cavity flow has a rectangular region. If the computational domain you consider can be expressed by a combination of a hexahedron, you can edit it only with the block mesh dict file, such as a rectangular parallel pipe or the one with some size accurate, or other shapes I will not use in this video. You need to edit the file snappy hex mesh dict. Okay, let's check the block mesh dict. The first section is a dictionary that specifies what file this is. A dictionary is a section between a pair of parentheses. The next parameter convert to meters is the scale conversion factor of the coordinate defined below. Set it to 1 for simplicity. The next dictionary vertices is a list of the coordinates of the vertices of a rectangular parallel pipe. Also, not written here. The numbers are numbered and 0, 1, 2, 3 from the top. Let's edit this for the cavity flow. Ok, finished. Next is a list called blocks. Here. We will define a block and a mesh consisting of the vertices defined earlier. First, define the block by the declaration hex and the first parentheses. You need to specify 8 vertices, but there are rules on how to specify them. First, 
with respect to the surface of z equal zero. Specify four vertices counterclockwise in the order of movement according to the right hand coordinate system. And then specify the same position and order on the surface z equal not zero, not equal zero. The next parenthesis is the mesh division number. In the x, y, and z directions, z is set to 1 in the case of two dimension simulation. Simple grading and the final parentheses, parentheses are items that specify the placement of the mesh. Simple grading means to specify four sides of each of the three axes together. What does that mean? For example, this time there are four sides in the x-axis direction. It is bad that the number of these four mesh divisions is not the same. But it is possible that the arrangement is biased. If you set it to simple grading, it means that all four sides have the same bias. The final bracket is the ratio of the first mesh to the last mesh in each direction. For example, if x is set to 2, the width will change smoothly so that the last mesh in the x direction will be twice the initial mesh. This time, leave it as it is. Next, I don't use uh, edge this time. In boundary, the boundary phase of the calculation R area is specified. This time, we will specify six planes in total. The specification method is to specify the name, boundary type, and the four vertices of the surface like this. This time, there are one moving wall and three stationary walls and two surfaces that are not used uh, because it is a two-dimensional calculation. You can name it as you like, but there is a rule to specify the type. If it is a wall, specify it as wall. For the order of the vertices, the rule is to write them so that they line up in a clockwise direction when you look at the surface from the inside from the inside of the box uh, block. Any number is acceptable to start as long as it is clockwise. Boundary conditions are specified by physical quantity files in a folder of numbers. If you impose the same condition to plural, you can write them together like these fixed words or you can divide them. The two sides that are not used will be named front and back, and the type will be empty. This is the end of editing. Let's run the utility for creating a mesh. The term utility is a word used in OpenFORM user guide, and I don't know the, the exact meaning. Maybe, well, I think it means a non-solver program. When you create a mesh with block mesh dict, use a utility named block mesh. So type the command block mesh. If you type it not in the job directory, for example, in system, an error will occur. Go back and run block mesh. When you run it, a new directory called polymesh is created in constant and the various files are created in it. Let's check the created mesh with PowerView. 
oh don't forget uh, to start X-Wing here enter paraform in the job directory to start paraview If you change the display from surface to surface with edge. Mm, okay, the mesh is created properly. Next, set initial conditions and boundary conditions. Edit the physical quantity in the zero directory. It doesn't consider energy, so only velocity and pressure. First, look at the velocity u. Form file defines the definition of this file and the dimension specified dimensions. The numbers are in order mass, length, time, temperature, amount of substance, current, and luminous intensity. Since the velocity unit is meter per second, so the length is 1 and the time is minus 1. In internal field, specify the internal physical quantity at time 0. If you want to be uniform at the beginning of like this time, write uniform 000. The three numbers are velocity components in the x, y, and z directions. In boundary field, the boundary condition is given for each phase named, named defined by block mesh dict. For this reason, uh, the moving surface and the stationary surface are distinguished. On a moving surface such as top wall, the fluid also moves under non-slip conditions. So type is fixed value and the value is the wall velocity. The fluid is stationary in fixed walls. In this case, type can be set to non-slip. Maybe type fixed value, value uniform 000 is also ok. Give empty to mm, the unused surface such as front and back. Let's look at the pressure. Since the dimension of pressure is square meter per square second, dimensions are as follows. Since no special pressure condition is given in the initial, initial stage, the internal field is uniformly set to the reference pressure. Since it is a non-compression calculation, it does not mean that the absolute pressure is zero pascal. For boundary field, we want the pressure gradient to be zero on the wall, so we set the type to zero gradient. Front and back is empty. This completes the setting of initial conditions and boundary conditions. Okay. Let's look at the directory constant. Skipping the polymesh, let me explain transport properties. The content is only one variable called new. As you can see from the dimensions, this is the kinematic viscosity coefficient. Since we want to set Reynolds number 30, Let's set it to 0.0033 this time. Finally, uh, set other calculation conditions. You can set them in control dict in the system directory. You can specify the solver to use by application, start from controls the start time. In this video, it is start time and start time is set to 0. This corresponds to the directory name 0 that we edited the initial conditions. Stop at controls the end time and ends at 0 0.5 seconds of end time. Delta T is the time step, let's set it so that current number does not exceed 1. 
assume the current number、uh, equal one. Since the top wall moves at one meter per second, and the grid width is、uh, 0.005, so delta t equals、uh, 0.005 or less, set it to 0.005 second. Write control is the output control of the result file, setting it to time step and setting write interval to 20. The result files will be output every 20 steps. We haven't edited anything below from here, so let me omit it. The configuration is all for this. Type the command echo form in the job directory. Calculation will start. It's a small calculation, so it will end soon. Let's see the velocity and the pressure in power view. Since I want to check the XY plane that goes through the center, click slice. On the upper left with test1.open form selected. Click Z normal in plane parameters or properties. And select the velocity. Okay, it was displayed. Since the wall surface g i v e n 1 meter per second at the beginning, the top wall is red. If you want to see the change over time, you should control the upper playback. Press play, the results will be displayed over time. Since we can't check the results well, let's look at the velocity vector. If you click Grip with slice 1 selected, the velocity vector for this plane is displayed. If you press Play, you can see only the color changed. So, set orientation of U in the lower left to U. The direction will be reflected. If you set scale array to U, the length is also reflected. For the pressure, select test1.open form, select slice and in created slice 2, select P to display the pressure. The V of velocity and pressure is like this. Now, you can create a job and visualize it. From the next time, I will explain、uh, the functions I have used. Thank you for your watching. Please subscribe if you like. Goodbye.